Ah, we are moving on to uh, Klein Geloof, uh, the next poem by Tanya Hubert. And uh, you'll see here, uh, as with the other poems, I did a, um, the poem is here, and then a translation there, and then we have the notes uh, over here in this, in this column here. So just stick with me and I'll show you possible questions, uh, interpretations, and try to guess basically what the examiner is going to ask. Always look at your class notes first and clear this with your teacher. And just add this to your to your set of tools that you already have. Maybe this is a last um, thing that you can go through before a test or an exam. Okay. <clears throat> so klein geloof. Uh, it means... Uh, small faith or little faith and it does have a, a double meaning as we'll as we'll see in the interpretations so someone with who believes in small things like fairy tales and garden gnomes and fantasies and fables and myths and so on and also uh, little faith so you don't have a lot of faith in something whether it be a god or, or whatever <clears throat> you don't have a lot of faith Okay, so the kabouter is uit my tuin gesteel. So a kabouter is a, is a gnome, hey? a garden gnome, or stolen out of my garden. Gesteel is stolen. And cash father, Santa Claus, kom nooit weer op sy slee. He never again, he will never again, nooit weer, or nooit meer, he never comes anymore uh, with his, um, with his sleigh. He never pitches up anymore. He doesn't come to deliver any gifts anymore. Uh, the tanemais. In Afrikaans, you have a mouse that comes and takes your tooth and puts coin, a coin in your shoe that you leave under the bed. Um, in English, the myth is the the, the, the um, tooth fairy. Eh? So I just um, translated it directly there. The tooth fairy was just my mom. Uh, Nate is just... It was only just my mom. In para prince, <coughs> frog princes are just amphibians. Um, the scientific um, classification of uh, of frogs. Eh? So don't believe in that anymore either. Armstrong was the man of man. We found out that Neil Armstrong was the man on the moon um, it was an actual man it wasn't just a story uh, there's proof for that there are photographs for that my milk skommel weg het versier my milky way my milkshake way okay so it's a bit of a word play there it's not a milky way it's a milkshake milkshake thicker sweeter my milk milkshake milky way has turned shower uh, like that, okay. Versier is turned sour. Drake is uh, dinosaurs. The dragons and the, and the myths and the stories, they are not dragons, they are dinosaurs. Okay, we can dig up the fossils and, and see. Lichtkastele, uh, castles that you build in the sky, in other words, your dreams, um, your plans for the future they not real they are just architecture they are skyscrapers they are high buildings okay i can almost sprookies it almost sprookies on the brand gesteek i burnt all my fairy tales the books i burnt them all i destroyed them all okay i destroyed or burned um on the brand gesteek Realisme, feiten and wetenskap. So realism, I'll look at the meaning of that. Facts, feiten, wetenskap, science. Ek kan bewijs, bewijs, I can prove. Okay, I can prove. Like with realism, facts and science, it's about things that you can, that you can prove. Okay, maar, but, waarom slaap ek met my licht nog aan? Why do I still sleep with my my light's still on. 
stoei is wrestel. Eh? Wrestel met die monsters onder my bed. I still wrestle with the monsters under my bed. Um, en waarom bid ek? Bid is pray. Why do I pray every day? Why do I find myself praying every day? Okay. That the prince, I pray every day that the prince on the donkey must read a save. Red save. That the prince on the donkey must save me. Sorry, I think that must be a, supposed to be a capital E in the original poem. Okay. So let's uh, let's look at some some meanings now, some interpretations here. Okay, so they'll definitely this title is is red hot. They're definitely gonna go for the there's a double double meaning in the title. And I mentioned them there, so learn that because they'll definitely, definitely ask about the title. Um, it's a nice juicy one, they won't be able to leave it. Double meaning there, double liberty. Okay, so the, the the question will speak about some kind of double double meaning. Okay. So the first meaning is is klein geloof as in lacking faith. Okay. So your geloof is nie sterk nie, or you you twyfel in God in brackets. Okay. You 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 have doubts. Your faith is not strong. Okay. Where does this come from? It's a, it's a, it comes from the, the, the Gospels, actually. Um, a few, in a few places, Jesus called his close disciples, close followers, the klein geloviges, you with little faith, dot, 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 you with little faith. Okay. Constantly re rebuking them for, uh, reprimanding them for not, not having faith, enough faith. You with little faith. Okay. And in the context of the poem, that means in die gedig verloor die spreker geloof in haar sprookies, fabels, mythes van haar kinderdag. So the, the narrator, the, the act spreker, the, the first person narrator, she loses uh, faith, geloof, in, in these fairy tales, fables, myths of her children's days okay so I'm going to space this a bit the second meaning so that's the first one of the the title I don't know if it's going on yeah thank you so that's the first one I'm making a mess here let me just erase that out okay so there's two meanings first meaning Je twyfel, je geloof is nie sterk nie. Okay. Second meaning is the faith of a child. Die geloof van a kind. Um, the things that kids believe in. That they really have faith in. They really honestly believe that there's a Santa Claus. That there are uh, little people running around the garden. Little gnomes living under the... Um, in caves and things and under the earth. Um... Believe, believe in things like fantasies, um, these fairies, myths. They honestly believe that they are real. Okay, so just watch out for that double, double meaning there. One and two, very, very important for this, for this poem and for the um, meaning of the rest of the poem as well. Okay, and then the first uh, strophe is a stanza. Eh? The first stanza, pretty, pretty basic. I just made a few notes there. Um, won't be, won't be long. Just want to try keep this, um, keep this under about at about 20 minutes or so. The the expreaker. Okay, so there's a first person narrator. Fluer loses faith in gnomes. Santa Claus, in so forth, and so forth. Okay. She is now in that transition period between being a child and an adult. So in teenage years, where um, these these beliefs of a of a child are falling away, getting replaced by more mature 
um, factual sort of things where you basically realize that all these things were just stories. You didn't, they're not real. Okay. Okay. So it says no, Tina in miss, she misses all those things that she believed in. That's basically the, um, the theme of the poem is her missing, um, meeting the cold reality, missing the things, the warm sort of beliefs of a child. The koa realiteit is here. The cold reality is here now. And the fantasy of her kinder is forbei. The fantasies of her, her childhood days are have gone. They passed. The marker, just some vocab, it makes her nostalgic, nostalgic, and heartier. Sad, heart so. Okay. Talking about kabouters. So literally, they could be those. Those little um, people put those. Do they still do that? They put those little um, statues in the garden. I've never really understood that, but why they do that? But figuratively, um, it was stolen. These these gnomes, they were stolen figuratively by by the Grootmens world, the grown person world, the the adult world has stolen um, these this ripped this fairy tale from her from her life okay maybe in a literal sense someone stole the gnome from the from the garden so they might go for a literal figurative doubt it though there are better questions uh cash father um obviously he, the, the the myth is that he comes with his sleigh and he climbs down the chimney he squirts the end, he delivers um gifts okay now it's just the parents that give gifts like they don't bother to uh, tell the story or dress someone up anymore that whole romantic idea that childhood belief is gone now and it leaves a bit of a um, reality check with the narrator with the spreker Itanemais or the tooth fairy uh, she has she now has all her um, adult teeth, mouth tanne, the little kitty's teeth are gone. Tant Mace, he has no reason to come because uh, she has all of her teeth. Okay. Um, it just, she realized in any case that it's, it's only my mom. Okay, it's net my mom. Net and Spruky. So this is the Pada Prince. Net and Spruky is what he Pada Prince, as you have It's only in stories where if you kiss a frog, uh, it changes into a prince. Now it's just a, a scientific class like spiders and frogs and um, snakes. They all fall into different classes, biological um, classes. So a frog is just something that you cut up in the biology class. It's not something you kiss. Okay, stanza two. Armstrong, this is Neil Armstrong that they're referring to. He takes the place of the mythological man on the moon. The one story is that there's a man on the moon carrying the wood on his back. He's he collected wood. Uh, I think it's a I think it's a German uh, folk tale. Um, however, now no say Verfang. Verfang is replaced with photos of a real man walking on the moon it's it's bizarre when you see it for the first time it's unbelievable um, the melkskommelweg this is an interesting word it's a made-up word it's a, it's a new logisme um, so it's, it's a new word it's a made-up word I like it when poets do that um, it's a kind word it's a it's like a you can almost hear a little boy or girl speaking about the milkshake way, the Milky Way, inst instead of the Milky Way. It's gewoonlik, it's usually the Milky Way. They might ask that, they might, what is it really supposed to be? Then you just say Melkweg, okay? And it, you know, it could call up the, the, um, the tale of Hercules when he was a baby and breastfeeding on the goddess Hera, Hera. Um, he, he he sucked the milk so hard that the breast milk sprayed into the 
um, into the night sky, and that is, and so the Milky Way was formed. Okay, obviously a lot of nonsense, but if you're a child, you believe that. Okay, um, Milky, the Milkweg is now seared. It's gone sour. It's gone off. That it verslaan means it expired. This is now this milkshake has expired. It. She also it also refers to her feelings, her emotions. She feels off. She feels sour. Um, I'm just going to add the um, verwijs dot dot um, verwijs no emotions, no emotion. Okay, of sour or feeling. The Drake it's not Drake, the singer, um, the rapper. It's uh, Drake dragons, not mythological. To lose, sorry, my spelling is horrendous. Yeah, uh, mythological dirani, not mythological creatures like the dragons. Uh, there's a, a scientific explanation. A scientific explanation. Wetenschappelijke verduidelijking. It's dinosaurs. It's not dragons, and they don't breathe. They don't breathe fire. Okay. Here we go, now I can see my recording time, 16 minutes. Um, okay, Luchtkastele, castles in the sky that you build in the sky. The drama and Lucht, the, the dreams that you um, have, they're not dreams, they are buildings. They're just high rise buildings, skyscrapers. It's something werkelijk, it's something real. Okay, that is real and concrete. It's something not abstract, but concrete. It's real. It's um, it's the cold reality. Stop living in your in a dream world. Um, focus on the reality. That's what the adult world will tell you. Okay, I could all my sprookies and brand gesteek. I burnt. I burned all my um, fairy tale books. Um, Vernaal vernietig. So if you burn something, it's, there's no coming back. It's finally, it's been destroyed. It's been worn down by the cold reality of um, adulthood. The cold reality of uh, volwassenheid. Koue werkelijkheid van volwassenheid. Okay. Now, now an interesting line here, and they'll definitely shoot for this. I can almost guarantee you. It'll be a question. Sprookies, um, what for fun met, replaced with realism. What is realism? Ooh, to oversimplify it terribly, it's realism is something that goes against sort of romantic, airy fairy ideas. It's it's not about emotion. It's about reason. It's about proof. It's not about imagination, it's about what is real. Okay, so I tried to summarize that in a note there, in a one-line note. Um, Realisme is teen romantische ideas, emotie and verbeelding. It's against romantic ideas, emotion and imagination. It focuses on testable facts and reality. It focuses on testable facts and reality. That's... That's realism. That's the adult world, if you like. Okay, facts are part of part of science. It's facta mit bewijse. Facts must have proof before it can be called a fact. It must be it must have evidence. And it must be It must be testable. And other scientists must be able to replicate your results. Otherwise, sorry, mosquito um, my. They must be able to replicate your results, otherwise it's not can't be called a fact, and you can't publish your research either. Okay, it's not so spooky, it's not like fairy tales where anything really goes, whatever's in your head, in your imagination. Um, there's a lady in our community here uh, who still believes in God knows, and her garden is full of God knows. Um, and what we then do as adults is we call a person like that crazy. 
um, but if it's a child, it's it's acceptable. So that's the difference. Okay, Kanba vase. Um, interesting. They'll they'll go for this. Hey, eh? uh, can act Kanba vase. I can prove. It's much like the 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 class. Yeah, it's like the climax of the poem. Maybe I think. Um, I can prove it's all in capitals, okay, and it's all about it, it, it's it's at the crux of realism is all the modern postmodern world. You have to be able to prove things, okay. Um, so the note there says, um, "Oops, with letters, but claim to an the focus of the verklikheid." So the the capitals with letters emphasize the focus on reality. Verklikheid. So the capital emphasize the focus on reality. And I just picked this up. I'm not sure how meaningful it is. Just think about it. Just maybe check it with your, your teacher. They use ak kan bewijs. So that's one of the helping verbs, eh? the auxiliary verbs, kan. Uh, interesting that they use kan and not sol or vol or mag or just ak bewijs of ak het bewijs. The past tense, they use I can. Um, like I'm able to. I can. I'm able to prove. Um, Maybe it means that she only believes in what she can prove, what she can prove, and she, that she can, in fact, do it. I can prove things, and therefore I believe in things. Um, it shows, a, it, to me, it shows a degree of faith in, in realism, in the sciences. I'm still <laughs> still playing with that idea. Anyway, I wouldn't personally I wouldn't test it. I would just ask about the um, the capitals and what it what that shows. Okay. So learn that. That's very important. Um, Realisme, Feite and Wetenschap. You see in this line, uh, it's just another note. Also, uh, thanks more. I picked that out of your notes there. Um, realism of fate and wetenschap. There's a sudden use of punctuation. Did you note? I didn't pick it up. I missed it. Uh, there's a sudden use of punctuation there. Why? Why is that? Because the rest of the poem has absolutely nothing. Yeah, we have two commas and, a, and then a colon there and the capitals, uh, which is unusual to break in the in the, in the um, trend. Um, so, skillige gebruik van leestekens om by taal wetenskapelike norme te bly, to stay with um, the, the, the science of the language, the norms of, of the language, to stick to the science, if you like, uh, of, of the language. Yeah, so that was, in, that was interesting. Um, they might might ask that actually. That would be a very good question. Hard though. It's a tough one, but now you know. Uh, last stanza. Maar, waarom slaap ik met die licht on? Why do I sleep with the lights on? Okay. Um, that maar there, that is like a little um, shift in the poem. Almost like, more like a clause, but saying it's a close sealer, eh? no clause in the contract, there's like exceptions, um, so I was, it's like say, mentioning exceptions to a certain um, belief or agreement, yeah, um, so you have a clause, so it's, she still believes in some things, not everything, so here are the things she still believes in, not everything, has gone out the window and is now viewed through the, the lens of realism. Okay. 
Maar dat is een winning class. Zie je sommige kleine geloofjes, some small beliefs are still there. Als je ja, die kinderbrein, de child brain, sterft nooit heel te mooi. De child brain never completely dies. For some people more than others. Okay, so, some adults are still children. Um, well, you can't literally be like a child, but your beliefs, some of your beliefs, okay. Monsters, um, she's, she still wrestles with the monsters under her bed. Um, no, I just, it wouldn't really be a fair question, I don't think, but they could ask, well, um, is this literal or figurative? It could be both. It's obviously the literal monster that you believe in as a child. But now as an adult, monsters take on different forms. Anaforma. Monsters neem anaforma on for die volwassene. It takes on different forms. We are scared as adults. We're scared of different uh, monsters, if you like. Okay, just a thought there. Check it with your teacher. Uh, die spreker bid nog. Interesting. Um, some would say that belief, faith is just another, it's just an extended fairy tale, um, that there's no uh, proof, so it just falls in the category with the rest of the fairy tales. Um, this narrator still believes in God, nog, that word nog is still, um, Still believes. Al is daar niet wetenschappelijke bewijs in. Although there isn't uh, scientific proof really. You can't test for God in a lab. Um, so, however, she still believes in that. Not everything has gone out the window. She prays that the prince on the donkey. Okay, so that sounds very familiar. <laughs> um, of course, Jesus entering the city there with on a donkey. Um, that what made me red is is red is safe. Okay, so the prince that must save us from sin, sonder and do it. Okay, that's the that's the narrative. Okay, the theme. What's the theme of the poem? Um, it's something like this, that children find it difficult, they often find it traumatic when they realize that their fairy tales and small beliefs, klein geloof is nie waar is nie, that's not true. It's traumatic, it's stressful, it's painful, it's sobering. Um, yeah. Okay, sommige dele van die wereld bly nog met hulle as volwassene, so, but yet some parts of that world still stay with them as adults and it's often it's often in the form of religion or some belief uh, in, in a god um, or um, a prophet or something like that okay so there is a little bit of rhyme there's some cross rhyme here and there look here um Amphibia, there, there, um, Fashir, Architectir, um, Wetenskip, Bewijs, Nothing, uh, Bed and Red. So there's like a, here and there, here and there, there's quite a loose structure, um, pretty much fits in with the, the place where this teenager is at, she's sort of in between two places so there's no real structure uh, sure, but let's just write that down uh, otherwise I won't sleep tonight um, die, die structuur pas by die idee dat dat die diener se klein um, geloof is nou weggeval het het 
in vervang is and replaced by. And it's replaced by in vervang is met uh, volwasse idiots, we should say, um, adult or uh, mature, mature ideas. Okay, mature ideas. All right, so that's the poem. So just to recap very quickly, I'm just going to use purple here. Yeah. The title, very, very important. They'll shoot for that. Um, these are all the, the the things that they believed in. Hey, check there. Purple and light blue makes dark blue. Um, so the things that they that she believed in as a child. Armstrong was man of Iman. The mouse come over that's a new um that's a new word they'll definitely shoot for that um then i would go for this line yeah um that where there's suddenly punctuation what are those things there's your climax they'll shoot for that there's your vending they'll go for that what are the monsters um what is this prince of a donkey um and then maybe the theme so that will give you 10 marks quite easily and then they'll fill it with a few easier questions so i really hope that that helps um and then uh, we'll i'll sign off here and i hope uh, sorry the in the previous videos this was a bit um small a bit vague so i hope this helps so i made it a bit bigger this time cool we'll move on to the next poem now